book mail time. I can't even remember the last time I did a book haul, but I received so many books this year and I thought it would be time to finally showcase some of the books I received recently. And I have with me my beautiful wife. Hello. And she will rate the covers and tell me if I should read these books or not. <laughs> All right, let's get into it. And we'll just start in no particular order. Okay, firstly, I received an art copy of Sons of Darkness by Guru Mohati, which is a book that Patrick Leo has read and rated really, really highly. I believe Johanna also ra um, read it and rated it really highly. This is an art cover. The interesting thing is that this is actually the cover page of the arc, which is quite unusual because you have the quotes here. And the official cover is actually on the back. What do you think about the cover? I mean, <laughs> I don't know what I think about the mixed sort of swapping around because I would have thought then that you're supposed to read this book this way around and I was like oh, okay cool maybe they've done that but no I think it's just a little bit weird it throws me off yeah and it, this is an art copy so this isn't the final one but I believe this is the first Indian inspired grim dark epic fantasy so that's a mouthful but yeah look forward to reading this one and next up we have Seas of War by Silva. I recently read this book and I really enjoyed it. I gave it 4.5 stars. It was paced beautifully. It's grim dark, but it wasn't overly grim and the magic system was also really interesting. And I think this cover is absolutely phenomenal. What do you think? I think it is nice, yeah. It reminds me of like a video game kind of thing, like a PlayStation game kind of thing. I mean, I don't think I need to sort of recommend this to you. You've already read it and I know that you liked it and you enjoyed it. It's quite heavy as well. Ooh, let, let's maybe give this a star rating of the cover. Um, I would give this a 3.5, 4. I would give it, I think, a solid 4 or 4.5. I really, really like it, this one. All right, and then we have two books, and these are some of the most beautiful books I received this year, without a doubt. And that is The Roots of Chaos Duology by Samantha Shannon. These covers are some of my favorite covers. I mean, it's, it's a dragon. I love the art style, but guys, look at these edges. These edges are insane. These, this is a signed editions as well. There's art on the naked hardback. It's absolutely phenomenal. If you've been on BookTube or Instagram or uh, anywhere, you've seen these covers everywhere. And these editions, absolutely stunning. I haven't read A Day of Fall Night yet. But yeah, most of you know I read this book. Had very mixed feelings on it, but... Out of these two books, I mean, I just love these covers. I think they're so iconic even now. So I'll probably give these five out of five stars. I think they're just so unique and refreshing. So yeah, what do you think about these covers? Yeah, I think I would also give this five. It's got a lot of different sort of aspects to it. You've got like the gloss and then the matte as well mixed together to give it more dimension. And then obviously the sprayed edges are really nicely detailed. So beautiful. <laughs> so yeah, I think this is a five. If only the cover lived up to the story. <laughs> And we have more Broken Binding Mail. And this is the Thai Child Trilogy by RJ Barker. And again, the edges. So beautiful. And the third one is going to arrive soon. And you're going to have like a full pattern across the three books. It's so beautiful. And I also love this art style. I think it's very, very cool. The names is great. And if you didn't catch it already, I'm hosting a read-along for this series starting in June. So please join my Discord server and join the read-along. It's going to be lots of fun. And we already have 200 members on the server. So yeah, I really look forward to reading this one. What do you think? I will give this... Well, I will, I will probably give the covers four. But the, the, those edges are solid five out of five, in my opinion. They're yeah. so good. I... I'm not the biggest fan of this kind of style and that's just my personal preference it's nothing to do with this not being that great it's just like Robin Hobb like that kind of style I don't really like that but I can see that you did like I don't know it just reminds me of back in secondary school when you had to make like these maps and you sort of used tea stain and like burnt the edges and then you drew your own map it just reminds me of that for some reason but um I see like I understand why people would like it because there is detail in here there's a lot like going on and the sprayed edges really sort of bring this up for me so I would say mainly purely because of the sprayed edges and because my criticism is just my own preference 4.5 not bad 4.5 for a cover she doesn't particularly like but yeah join the read along then we have a book I recently found in a charity shop the Chronicles of Black Company by Glenn Cook. This is apparently one of the authors of the grimdark genre. Personally, I've heard very, very mixed things about this series, but this is the whole first trilogy in an omnibus, and it was like one or two pounds, so I had to pick it up. But I'm hoping to give the first book a read, because they're not that long either, but yeah, when it comes to the cover, I'm not a massive fan. You barely see what's happening, because it's so dark. But the Chronicles of Black Company, I think the name is, is better than the cover, if I'm being honest. Basically, it's just lacking contrast, really, isn't it? You can't see anything. I didn't even notice there was a guy there until I really looked. There's another guy there now apparently just saw him there uh, to be honest this cover is a bit rubbish i think <laughs> um i think they could do better this does not reflect on the actual content in the book let's remember that so the cover i would give a one 
I might agree. Maybe not a one, but maybe a two. It's quite quite boring. Next one is a book I very recently received, and I'll actually post a picture here of the whole package. The Dress of the Emerald Sea by Brenda Sanchez. I just love, love the art style for the UK covers of the Cosmere, just a contrast. I'm just a huge sucker for white covers, so it offers so many great things about this book, so I'll definitely hope to give it a read this year. So if you read this book, let me know your thoughts. I've heard so many great things. They also sent me an art card, so now I have the cover twice. But yeah, probably give this around 4.5. I just, I just love white covers because there's so much contrast, and also I've heard the story is really, really, really great. Yeah, I think this is quite a good sort of example of that you don't need to have that much going on and like just a little bit of contrast goes a very long way you don't need that many colors um i like how clean this looks and i think i just appreciate sort of the the different textures that you see in the actual sort of design itself and the text is clear i think i would give this a solid four next up we have empire in black and gold by adrian Tchaikovsky. so this is the uk cover i believe that this book probably has had like three or four different covers throughout the time but this is the most recent cover and this is a 10 book series and this is the first one so i've heard some great things about this also very mixed i've heard the latter half of the series isn't that great but i definitely want to give this a go because i read two of adam jacosi's uh, sci-fi books and i didn't particularly enjoy them so i feel like i need to give some of his fantasy work i read but yep yeah. emperor in black and gold i know alan loves this series and yeah the cover is just all right at least there's like good contrast but it's quite generic in my opinion i feel like this is the type of book that you see the cover and you're like Meh. but then once you've read it you're like oh the symbolism and you're like i know why that's there kind of thing and then it's really cool i think it's it's okay but i mean i wouldn't like if i saw this on a shelf somewhere it wouldn't really catch my eye i just sort of move on to the next thing really to be honest mm. so give it a two I think the thing that's best about this book is really the edges. That it does actually add quite a lot to the cover in this case. So yeah, probably would agree on, on a two. It's not horrendous, but it's nothing special. Then I received Shield Maiden by Sharon Emmerich. This is one of the Goldsboro edition. This also has nice edges. It is signed and numbered. And I don't have any plans to read this book because it doesn't sound like it's going to be up my alley. But yeah, I think this also sounds quite generic. And yeah, I don't know what it is. I read the premise and I don't think it's going to be a book for me. So I'll probably just get rid of this book. But if anyone has read this and think that it is an amazing amazing book let me know and i might keep it but yeah i'll probably unhold this book quite soon <laughs> it's got a decent amount of color and slight details in there sort of the sword i mean it's a decent one for having like a sword at the front there's a lot of those out there i'd probably give it a 3.5 i don't think the cover is horrendous but yeah probably not gonna read this then we do have some more self-published books actually today i received the return of the knights by gregory con Texas. I'll probably pushing that name, but this also has spread edges, which is, which is really cool. It is signed. And to be honest, I haven't heard much about this, but I like the bright blue. And I think for having a sword, it is quite nice looking. And The Return of the Knights sounds like a quite generic fantasy title. But yeah, it's definitely intrigued. So yeah, thank you so much, Rebecca, for sending me this. I really, really appreciate it. You see, originally I thought this looked quite cool, but I feel like this blue should have been the edges. Like I feel the edges isn't quite matching the blue like it's it's closest to that little blue there but i feel like it would have been really really cool if it sort of matched this really brightness there sort of around the edges it would have looked cooler bit, bit of feedback <laughs> i do think this is quite cool again it looks like it's it's, it's going to be like a playstation game or something like that like a really epic one so i don't know i'd give it about 3.5 again and then we have another self-published book the way of Idan by philip chase you've probably seen this cover everywhere and i read this book already i made a full spoiler free review on my channel as well gave it 3.5 stars and i'm really excited about book two this is a really really solid classic traditional fantasy so if you're like if you love tolkien or something like that or 80s fantasy definitely check this one out because it's a very very solid classic fantasy and for the cover actually initially when i saw it I didn't really like it at all, but the more and more I look at it, the more I appreciate it. And also, it is different from all the other covers we've seen recently, and it does fit the vibe of the story really well. So I actually think this is quite cool. Like, sort of the concept, and then it's also kind of like a modernized stained glass window. The only thing I kind of wish, but obviously this is just me criticizing for the sake of criticizing and not knowing how much things cost, but like if there was like some, some things were in gloss or something like the outline, like the black outline, if that was kind of like in gloss or there's some sort of indentation, but um, yeah, I quite like, I think this is quite creative and quite cool i think it's gonna get a four yeah it is actually a solid cover especially after you read the book i think if it's the white band it's a very very minor thing but i think all fantasy series they should have the number on the spine of what book in the series it is a lot of them don't i really appreciate this there's like a tiny one here so yeah brownie points for that <laughs> 
So, the next one is a birthday gift I bought to myself because someone bought me a gift card to the Broken Binding and I just straight away went out and bought God Killer by Hannah Kainer. Is that how you pronounce her name? This is a really nice edition. So, it's just Black Spread Ages, which is quite nice. But this end paper is so, so beautiful and this Naked Hardback is lovely as well. And this one is also signed and numbered. This book was actually sold out, but suddenly they had some more stock. Only around 15 copies or something. So, I was really fortunate to actually grab this and I've heard a lot of great things about this one. So, yeah, there's nothing like buying books for yourself as a gift, is there? But I actually really like this cover. This is one of he the reasons... He looks at me because I don't buy him books. <laughs> <laughs> she says I have too many books already anyway, so... I actually, one of the reasons why um, I bought this book is because the title is really, really cool. And I really like the cover. It, yeah, it just it looks really nice, I think. Probably give it like 4.5 when it comes to the cover. And it's a short book. We don't have that many short fantasy books. So, yeah, hoping to give this one a read this year. Yeah, I think this is really cool. I really like this. Um, I, like, I really like the style and the detail. And sort of just, just the way that sort of the title and stuff sort of curve like that. And then you got like the little gold dots throughout. If the sprayed edges kind of like had a bit of the detail in there, would have been a five. So I'm thinking I'm going to give it a 4.5. So we have four more books to go. And the next one is a book I received yesterday because I just finished book one, which I'll put up here. But this is book two in the Reborn Empire Quartet, I think what it's called. We Lie With Death by Devin Madsen. And I love this art style. One of the reasons actually I picked up the series. And I've had it on my shelf for around two years, the first book. But it's only because of the covers. It's just something about the contrast. It just looks ep epic, very atmospheric. Love the titles as well. And I haven't heard many people talk about it, which was also a reason why I wanted to check it out to see if it was worth it. So yeah, this is book two. And yeah, I'm definitely going to read this sometimes this year. I gave the first one, I think, four stars. It was quite good. Um, but I could make a whole review about the, that book. But yeah, what do you think about this cover? I think it's cool. It's got kind of like that fine liner pen mm. sketch slash draw design going on. I would give this 3.5. And again, this one has a number. Tiny details like that. I really, really appreciate it. And the third last book is On Tethered Sky by Fonda Lee. This is a short novella. I read this book as well. I really, really enjoyed it. It was a very, very solid novella. And especially considering how short it was, I thought it was a great story. So if you want to read something short, definitely pick this up. It's like 150 pages and there isn't that much text on the on each page. And I just love Fonda Lee. I will read everything she writes. When it comes to the cover, I also think this is quite cool. It's definitely a lot of details. You can see the person really well and the eagle in the background is so, so cool. So this is probably the best Fonda Lee cover I think she's had so far. Obviously, I love the Green Bond Saga, but the covers are quite generic. So this one is quite cool, actually, I think. So what do you think about it? I like it. It's kind of got like that classic painting style that you'd see actually on an actual canvas hung up somewhere. It's very, very cool. I would have liked more sort of, I don't know, difference in, in texture on the actual cover maybe would have been cool. I think, again, this is kind of like a 3.5. Fun story. When we were traveling to Faroe Islands for Christmas, uh, we were at the airport in England, in London, and Johan saw a lady reading Fonda Lee. We were like at like a restaurant looking down and he just kept staring at this lady because he was trying to work out how far she'd gotten into Jade City. <laughs> it got a little bit creepy. It's <laughs> not creepy. I was just very excited. It's not often you see people in public reading your favourite author. Alright, two more books to go, and this is an art copy of The Book That Wouldn't Burn by Mark Lawrence. So, the official title is On the Spine, and here it says All Books Fall to Dust. This is actually very, very similar to the final cover, except I think the final cover is a bit more bright, and obviously the title is going to be on the cover. I was really, really fortunate to receive this. I've read this already, and it was actually quite a big disappointment, which I know is probably going to be an unpopular opinion, because so many people have said this book is like a 5 out of 5 for them. I'm probably going to give it a 3 out of 5. I read now three different books by Mark Lawrence, the first, first book in three different series of his, and I'll give them all of them three stars. I don't know what it is, but there's just something about Loris's style. It just, I don't feel immersed. So, really, really disappointing. The longer you look at this cover, the more you start to appreciate it. There's so many tiny details in this cover, and I'll put it somewhere so you can see the cover a bit better. What do you think? Mm, I'm not really a fan. I mean, I get what you say about the details, but I feel like there's almost too much. It's almost like a paradox because you can't see where the stairs start and end at times and it just doesn't really... That is the point. It really hurts my brain to stare, but then it also hurts my eyes because I can't see it very well because it's quite dark. I'd probably give it a two. Well, well the, actually the thing with the stairs is fits very well with the story, so it is like an endless library, so yeah. The last book is... 
So as per usual, it's cooler if you've actually read the book. <laughs> yeah, very true. The last book is a book I found in charity shop for a pound. And that is Rage of Dragons by Evan Winter. I actually owned the second book. Orbis sent that book to me like two years ago when the paperback came out. Though when I found this, I knew I had to pick it up. And so many people say, if you love John Gwynn, which I love John Gwynn, then Evan Winter is a really great recommendation. And this is an African-inspired epic fantasy, I believe, which I haven't read that many of. I think the cover is really cool. I think it's just different from a lot of the covers we usually see. In this big shield, there's a dragon and there's fire and stuff. So... I think it's a very solid cover. Maybe not the best one ever. Well, yeah, it's, I usually just appreciate seeing something new um, when it comes to fantasy covers. And The Rage of Dragons. What a cool title. I think they've used like the same font as um, The Wheel of Time. I don't know. I feel like it's a little bit unclear at times. The shield could be like clearer. I don't know. I couldn't tell it was a shield until I got closer to it. I do like the sort of design, like the statues in the background. That's really cool. I'll give it a three. Yeah, I think three is a, a good good rating for this cover. But it seems like we have a favorite of all the books I recently received. And that is probably the Roots of Chaos duology, or I don't know if you call it duology, but these covers, they're wonderful. These edges are insane. It's signed and numbered. Everything about these covers is just so, so good. And I can't wait to read it all a day of all night. So yeah, thank you so much for watching and make sure to join the Discord and the read along that will start next month. And as always, a special thanks to my patrons for support with you here. I really appreciate it.